Hey guys, this is Dylan with Knight Brothers. I just wanted to show you a short little video of us framing this back porch edition. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought maybe you guys would think it's pretty cool too. So first off, what we're doing here is cutting the plywood out for where the LVLs are going to go. So if you're not familiar with what an LVL is, an LVL is actually a wooden support beam that's normally used in residential construction to carry loads like rafters or ceiling joists and stuff like that. The next thing we're going to do is install our metal post brackets that we're going to set our posts in to carry the load of our LVLs. We set our 6 by 6s with the level and then use 2 before 4s so they stay nice and plumb and make sure our 2 before 4 bracing is secured well either to the concrete pad or um, to the dirt using stakes and screws. It's always a good idea to make sure you brace off your 6 plus 6 as well so they don't move as you're cutting them and stuff like that. So the next thing we're going to do is use a transit laser level to mark the where the bottom of the LVLs need to be, the height of the bottom of the LVLs. And then with that uh, transit laser level, we're going to mark the bottom of the LVLs on what, the post so we know exactly where they need to be cut out at and that's what we're actually doing right now is marking the post where they need to be cut at. After we mark all the posts where they need to be cut at we're going to be using a skill saw and sometimes a multi-tool and, and maybe a sawzall or a reciprocating saw to cut and notch the posts where they need to be notched or cut at for um, the LVLs to fit in or on them. And as you can see here we're uh, installing the first LVL. So the first LVL is going to go inside the hole that we cut out in the plywood and actually sit on top of the exterior wall. So the exterior wall is holding that weight of that end of the LVL and then the 6x6 is, is going to carry the rest of the load on this outside of the LVL. And same thing with the, the top side. As you'll see in just a second, whenever we set that LVL, it's going to go inside the hole that we cut out in the plywood and I actually had to frame that wall up just a little bit. Um, I actually didn't put that in the video uh, because I didn't really think that you all needed to see me stand on a ladder and put some boards in there. But uh, anyways, right, right behind where the hole is in the plywood where we just slid that LVL in, I framed that up on top of the exterior wall. So that, that exterior wall is carrying all of the load all the, of the, the roof that we're framing in on the house side and then the six by sixes are going to carry the load on the outside and here we are um, setting the rafters on and that first rafter that we set we made sure we got really even with the other roof so there won't be any transitions in the shingle line screws like the one that I'm holding up can be screwed into the bottom side of the rafters like we're doing right now to take the place of hurricane clips. So here in Tennessee, you could either put the hurricane clips on there or use those screws in the bottom of the rafters to keep the roof from essentially blowing off in a storm or something. After we got all the rafters set, you put your fascia boards on, which is what we're doing right here. And uh, you wanna make sure that those are nice and even and straight. After you get your fascia boards on, then you can put your false rafter on, which creates your overhang. After you create your overhang and install your false rafter, then you need to install support so it won't sag over time. And then after that, you're pretty much ready for plywood, to sh ready to sheet the roof. And that's what we're doing right now. So I created that uh, strong back to straighten all the rafters out or get my rafters on layout because some of those were twisted and warped pretty bad. So. I created that strong back and put my layout on there, put it up on the roof, and then screw all my rafters to that. As you can see here, I've already straightened them all out. You can see the bracing for the uh, false rafter for your overhang, and you can see where all the, the, the rafters are sitting on the LVLs and how everything's supported correctly and everything. So now here we are getting ready to sheet the roof. What I like to do whenever I start sheeting a roof with plywood is measure up on both sides about a quarter inch um, more than what the sheet of plywood is. In this case, this sheet of plywood is four feet wide, so we measured up four feet and one quarter, or 48 inches and a 48 and a quarter inches up. So just 
so when you start sheeting the roof you don't have your your plywood's not hanging over the end and it's always best to stagger your joints so if you start with the full eight foot board then the next row you'll start with a, a four foot board now we're going to get ready and start installing the shingle under alignment. I like to do this right after I sheet the roof so the plywood doesn't have time to get any water damage. And then lastly, we're going to frame this little open end up on top of this LVL so we can sheet it with plywood and then add the siding to the outside of it. Thanks for watching, guys.